Hey guys, so Apple today released another update for iOS 17. This one is a big update actually. There's a lot happening with this one. So of course, I want to go ahead and share with you guys what's new with the latest iOS 17 developer beta 4. Now as per usual, Apple has also updated their other platforms. So aside from iOS 17 beta 4, iPadOS 17 developer beta 4 is available for the iPad. MacOS 14 beta 4 is available for the Mac. WatchOS 10 beta 4 is available for the Apple Watch and of course tvOS 17 beta 4 is available for the Apple TV so of course a lot of updates as per usual a lot of changes with this one I'm super excited to share those changes with you guys now this update is actually a big update as I mentioned about a gig of a download there's quite a bit to talk about here now one thing I do want to mention that's something I didn't notice before is that the screen when you go to update here now this is from beta 3 but now I noticed it after trying to update to beta 4 you see the schedule right here so now your iPhone will give you the schedule here with this check mark here where you can cancel or let the schedule happen right so your iPhone will automatically update when you plug it into a power source it will automatically let you know that it's going to be updating at night when it's locked and connected to a power source so that's something of course that's coming from beta 3 but I've noticed that when I went to update to beta 4 and another thing I did notice here quickly is that I don't, I don't know why I never noticed this but if we go into general here and we go into software updates I did not know that you can actually pull down to check for updates did you know this like this is available in beta 3 as well it's not unique to beta 4 but i just want to mention those two things in regards to beta 3 but let's jump into beta 4 because as i mentioned there's quite a bit to talk about here and i want to start off with a new update to the standby mode feature on the iphone so of course standby is if you lock your iphone right and you set it to charge you get your screen where you can get a clock and you can get the weather and all types of notifications so now if we go into the standby mode option here on the iPhone, if I can just find it here on my screen. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. I have a new option to share with you guys, and that is show preview on tap only. This new option right here. So basically, when you get a notification while your iPhone is on standby, you get the notification preview. Well, now you have the ability to hide that. So let me show you that here quickly. So I'm going to lock this iPhone. I have the stand right here. Let me demo that for you guys here. So let's put it on the stand here. Let's go into standby mode. And once we go into standby, there we go. We're on standby. I have this other iPhone right here just for the purpose of the video. Let's go ahead and say I want to text Apple. Just say Apple, right? And I send it here to the other iPhone. And you see that when I get the notification, I get a quick preview, but I don't get the actual message unless I tap. We get Face ID. Once we authenticate, then we get the message. Now, this will work, of course, with all notifications. And that's basically the feature that we're talking about here. So showing the preview of a notification. So show preview on tap means that you have to tap your iPhone when on standby to actually preview that notification, which I really love this new feature. Now, before we continue, I want to talk about today's sponsors, K-School and their brand new Cloud Kush cases. Take a look at these cases. All around the edges, we have this air cushion technology that absorbs shock. This is a cloud-like edge feel design that protects your iPhone and also looks good. It is available in various colors. I'm sure you've seen me use these cases over the past couple of weeks. These are three meter military gray drop resistant. So you have nothing to worry about with these cases. They feel good, they look good, and of course they alleviate stress as well because the design feels great in your hand for texting, gaming, or browsing the internet. Now for a limited amount of time, Case Cool is hosting an iPad giveaway for the first 100 entries one free ipad will be given away if the number exceeds 100 case cool will throw an additional ipad on this giveaway so make sure you check it out all the links will be of course in the description down below now as we jump into the messages application in beta 4 the ui here was changed once again as you can see right here so in comparison to beta 3 let me go ahead and show you here you see that the camera icon has been updated the photos icon has been updated the apple cache the audio we also have location and define my we also have additional extensions down here like the app store as you can see right there we have redesign icons in menus in the iMessage right there menu, if you will. This is the only part of iOS that I thought didn't quite fit in, but Apple has recently updated this part here in order to make it match a little better. I like the new update to this section here in the Messages Applications menu. Now, there's also some changes 
to AirDrop, which I was happy to learn about. And now, you know the new feature, Name Drop, where you can hold two iPhones together and send it, the information over to another user? Well, Apple has added a brand new option. If we go into General here and we go into the AirDrop options, we have this new Bring Device Together toggle right here. Now, what was happening to me is since I make YouTube videos, obviously, I'm constantly holding multiple iPhones next to each other, and AirDrop will continue to try to name drop something to another iPhone, and I'm so happy that Apple has finally brought this feature. So this serves various purposes. Obviously, you don't want to accidentally send information to another user by being close to them. Maybe if you're sitting next to someone close enough, this could be triggered. Or in my case, right where I have several iPhones next to each other, it accidentally triggers the name drop feature. So now you have the option to actually enable or disable this option right here to start sharing with AirDrop by bringing two devices together. I'm happy to learn about this one. Now, other minor changes to the UI worth mentioning. If we go into settings here, we see that the new home extension now has an icon right there. So the icon has changed just for visuals. Let me show you here in beta three. So in beta three, it looked like this, as you can see right there, the home icon. And versus beta four, you see that the icon is slightly different. Can you tell the difference? Right there it is, home icon. It's different in this beta four. Now there's also some minor changes happening to suggestions in the battery department here. So if we have any suggestions here, the suggestion icons have also been updated here as well. So as you can see right there, they used to be the yellow icons instead of the actual blue that you see here. So that's been slightly updated here as well. For the battery section, they used to have the tips icon instead of actual brightness and auto lock options right there. The little glyphs right there now in blue as well. So different color as well. And minor UI changes once again if we go into the widgets here. We have the new home widget, which I really love. We now have the UI has been updated to actually match. So let me show you here just for reference in beta three. So let's go here and show you the home extension right there. Where is the widget? Where is the widget? There it is, right there it is. You can see that the UI now matches the actual color of the icon, which is yellow in the new beta four. Of course, I'll continue digging around the software to share with you guys additional details and more features. So make sure to subscribe to watch that video. But now things will be changing. It is at the end of July. Apple has been releasing new betas basically every two weeks. At some point, Apple will be switching to releasing iOS 17 betas every week now when will that happen we're not quite sure but if history is any indication over the next couple of weeks we'll see Apple switch and maybe in the month of August we'll see a beta every week until mid-September and then we get a final release mid-September this year with iOS 17 the new iPhones and everything like that so most likely the next beta will be another two weeks from now if Apple switches to a weekly schedule and releases another one next week that means that the software is almost ready now for those of you that are always wondering about the build number I wanted to share that with you guys here momentarily there it is beta 4 his build number is 21A5291H, which of course means we still got plenty to go. Maybe three, four more betas, RC, and then official release mid-September. And there you guys have it. This has been Beta 4. Again, I'll continue digging around the software, testing the battery, of course, and I'll share with you guys a follow-up video, so make sure to stay tuned. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.